A few weeks ago, I was playing through The Witcher 3 for my most recent run. I stumbled upon an interesting question. Why the hell isn't my Witcher 2 save data being transferred, and why does it take three hours to find out it wasn't transferred correctly? Running through White Orchard half a dozen times didn't give any answers, but it did lead me to another question, which I hope to answer in this series. What makes a good tutorial? A necessity in most every game. Normally tutorial levels include base information across the board, how to move, attack, early story seeds, any quirks of the game all wrapped in a bow. One such example would be the loot boxes in Mario World 1-1, the reviving mechanic in the Soulsborne titles, or the grand strategy and management of Crusader Kings 3. As we move forward, we will use these components as a reference point for various titles, comparing the ways they succeed, fail, or are middling. That said, what actually counts as a tutorial level? Some games like Deadbolt make the level so obviously a tutorial level with the controls written out on the walls for you to follow. Other examples is the catalyst for the whole discussion, Witcher 3, which has White Orchard, a clear microcosm of the world at large whereas other games, particularly open-world games, make it far less clear. Hogwarts Legacy, you get drip-fed more systems and mechanics, adding to the list of spinning plates you need to balance right up to the final hours of the game. And even while Red Dead 2 offers a fairly clear tutorial, that being the prologue as you head towards Horseshoe Overlook and Valentine, you still receive a constant flow of new systems afterwards, like wagon fences, bank robbing, horses, though it feels like a natural progression in contrast, so clearly it isn't so cut and dry. What I consider to be a tutorial level in a more open world game is from the moment you start the game to the point the world opens up to you for free roaming. Good Springs plays this role in Fallout New Vegas, allowing you to interact with the world while still giving the chance to respec your character if things are not to your liking after Ghost Town Gunfight. Another example I'd use is the area of Ashina outskirts up to the first mini-boss journal Nomura Karawada, or the Undead Asylum of Dark Souls 1, which give you a taste of combat and exploration found in those games, along with the quirk of souls and reviving. Throughout this series, I'll be taking a look at a variety of different games to see what makes a good tutorial. At this point, some of the titles I plan to cover a Red Dead 2, Witcher 3, Deadbolt, some of the Dark Souls games. If there are any that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, thanks for watching. You know the drill. Stuff down below, do with it as you see fit. What do you want to see next? And until next time. I'm Sven, this is Elvin Prince, signing out.